Hello, this is Onyx Tarot by Aubrey, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Scorpio. So definitely go ahead and hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. It is super helpful to my channel. My personal readings are currently open. They all have 12 to 48 hour delivery, so feel free to check that out. All right, let's do a message for Scorpio. So we have the Hanged Man as the first card, Ten of Cups in reverse, Three of Pentacles and bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. All right. Oh, okay, cool. Let, let's just do the rest today. Let's see. Nine of Cups in reverse, Justice. I love seeing Justice and the three of wands wow oh my god wait okay this is like beautiful let's like scoop that up wheel of fortune you probably can literally not even see this but we have all right good enough wheel of fortune the chariot and the Six of Cups <clears throat> in reverse. Okay, this is like, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading, guys. All right. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to use one of my little decks to clarify. Okay, cool. Let's just use this deck. So... Um, the hangman is the main energy here. So right now you're just like sitting and thinking and, you know, brainstorming on what you're going to do, what you want to do. Um, it seems like this is tied to, you know, something not really working out, uh, the way that you expected it to, uh, with the 10 of cups being in the reverse, but there's the three of pentacles in reverse. So you could be just like working together with somebody working together um you know you could have children with someone and you have to or be divorced from someone or something like that with a ten of cups in reverse and the three of pentacles but then we have the nine of cups in reverse and the justice hmm this is giving me uh work boss vibes Okay, we have the gentleman on top of the six of cups in reverse. Um, let's clarify the hangman. The tree, <clears throat> the key, and the mountain. Bottom of the deck is the sun. Beautiful. So right now, if you're in a situation where you're not exactly sure how it's going to turn out but you're really just focusing on your stability especially this is um if, if this is close to the current um your goal is near so basically like you're almost there right now is like the calm before the the big change right you're gonna have the key to <clears throat> you're gonna have the key to solving whatever issue is going on or whatever you're waiting on um it may be a little bit of a challenge or a little bit of a feat with the mountain card being here but at the bottom of the deck it's a sun card this mountain card says confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe to avoid your defeat strike hard the first blow this clear obstacle is a chance to succeed Courage and persistence is all you will ever need. Bottom of the deck is the sun. All right. The sun is warm. Goodness gracious. There we go. The sun is warm and brightens the day. Good luck has become, begun to come your way. The closer your location, you bask in sweet bliss. Energy abounds in the summer's radiant kiss. I love this deck so much. So yeah, like you're about to 
embark on a journey with um, maybe somebody that you are not with anymore, somebody that, um, you know, you have to kind of assert your position here. With the Ten of Cups, I am really getting like this could be somebody that you're not with anymore. Um, you have to co-parent with or divorcing something like that but then I'm like okay you're gonna you have to work together but with a nine of cups being here and reverse high to justice it's like you know and this person knows that they're incompetent nine of cups and reverse so oh my god okay so this person whatever they're trying to do like maybe they're trying to intimidate you maybe you're in a legal situation with this person it's saying strike hard the first blow like as far as like defending yourself against this person because it's going to work out just fine and it's like you intuitively could know that because it's tied to this person being incompetent <clears throat> Oh my god especially when it comes to justice if that makes sense so it's kind of like whatever this person has done outweighs and will always outweigh them getting them getting their version of justice if that makes sense does that make sense so we got the three of wands which is telling me that you're going to be able to move forward from this person from the situation yeah, and from this gentleman, this this could be a masculine here because the gentleman did fly on the Six of Cups in reverse, which is the child card and also familiar, like something familiar, somebody you have a lot of memories with, but you're leaving that behind to move forward to better things. Um, so yeah, you're, you have good luck here. Um, things are positively going to move forward with a Wheel of Fortune. Again, you have... You have the sun that spoke of good luck. You have the wheel of fortune. You have the justice here. You have the chariot here. And you're going to be able to leave this person behind. So bottom of the deck is the three of swords in reverse, which is just really telling me that you are healing and through your healing and through your patience and through your, um, through your insightfulness, being in touch with the universe, understanding what exactly you need to do is really helping you move forward so that's beautiful um so yeah that is what i have today i think i'm going to keep it short and simple like that just straight to the point whatever that whatever you are planning to do whatever that you're gearing up to do um you know what is it in the art of war that talks about um you know, you kind of want to be confront. If there's an issue, confront it because you're protected right now. Like you're always protected, but now more than ever, and I'm getting is more so because this person is planning whatever they feel like they're planning. Let's actually let me not close it out. <laughs> let me look at the nine of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Okay. So let's see the ones that fell out. Cavalier and mice, of course. Heed well. Heed, heed well good news from the Cavalier. Impassioned views promise good cheer. Sadness that hides the veiled hides veiled in the day. Once disguised, soon flies away. Okay. And we also have the robber mice take your treasure. Inside your house, they steal with pleasure. Hope's not for gone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you regain what is dear. Right. So, yeah. This person will not be successful against you. Um, They won't be. Let me go ahead and get some advice cards. But definitely hit the like button. I really do appreciate it so much. Um, Let's get some advice cards for you. Let's see. Or actually, let's get this deck. Cool. Let's get some advice for Scorpio. Okay. Speak your world into being. Take a breather. 
be proud of yourself and bottom of the deck we have release control so whatever you're wanting to do and accomplish you know speak it loud and proud uh, trust in your ability to manifest and also trust that you know when you're defending yourself you're protecting yourself protecting what you believe in that you are protected and will be protected by the universe by your higher power um take a breather be proud of yourself especially for sticking in there and lastly bottom of the deck release control um it's time to heal every time you get some type of inkling of like being kind of you know upset about things that are going on like this person's trying to clearly scam or it just like it's unfounded whatever they're trying to do um just release release it continue to release it that's literally three of swords in reverse as well release it heal it um you can't lose you literally can't lose but the wheel of fortune the chariot the justice card you cannot lose so i hope this was helpful if it was definitely hit the like button subscribe and thank you all so much for watching